Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes, written by Eric Litwin, illustrated by James Dean. Pete the Cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. Stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Red! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. No! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Blue! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. Oh, no! Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Brown! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Stepped in a bucket of water. And all the brown. And all the blue. And all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? White! But now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. My wet shoes, I love 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 my wet shoes. The moral of Pete's story is no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Because it's all good. Okay, friends, we're back from our story. And we have Pete. Pete the cat is here with his new shoes. Does anybody remember what color? Awesome, white. All right, now remember, remembering. This is, the activity is called Remember and Recall. I want to know who can remember what he stepped in first with his new white shoes. Does anybody, re does anyone remember what he stepped in? First, he stepped into a large pile of strawberries. Awesome remembering, friends. Now, who remembers what color Pete's shoes turned? When he stepped into those strawberries, what do you think? Do you think that he had 
Red shoes. Awesome remembering. Friends, what comes next? Well, after Peach stepped in the large pile of strawberries, does anybody remember what food he stepped on next? Getting a little clue. A large pile of blueberries. Who said that? Awesome, you. You're awesome. You remembered well. So what color do you think the blueberries made Pete's feet or his shoes change to? Did Pete's shoes change? Now his shoes are blue. Huh, did Pete cry? Mmm, goodness no. He just kept on singing. After he stepped in a large pile of blueberries, who remembers what Pete stepped in next? I'm going to give you a clue. It's wet. Peppa Pig loves to step in it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mud. <laughs> he got his new shoes in the mud. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He just kept right on singing. But what color did the mud change Pete's shoes to? Who remembers? Ooh, what color is that? Brown. Good remembering. I wonder what Pete stepped in after the mud. Who remembers? If you get friends guess something that feels a little wet, then you would be right. After he stepped in the mud, Pete stepped into a pool of water. Oh, no. So let's change him to some water. There we go. Pete stepped in the water. When he stepped in the water, guess what? All the brown. And all the blue and all the red came off. Remember what color his shoes were again at the beginning? Guess what now, friends? After he stepped in the water, what do you think? How do you think Pete's shoes feel? Oh, you guys are right again. All wet. But did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He just kept right on singing. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. Good remembering, friends. Did you remember everything that Pete stepped in? Did you remember what order that he stepped in it? Did you get all of them right? Did you remember everything? Awesome, friends. Make sure to have fun playing memory and recall with your family and friends using any story or game or anything that you can remember together. Have fun, friends.